Hey, good morning. Rich here with Summit Life Group. So are you looking to learn how to have a better ROI on the uh, leads that you may be purchasing to make sales for your life insurance business? You know, I'm going to share four um, reasons that your ROI may not be uh, as good as it should be. So uh, first, I want to I want to cover the one that most agents lean on first, and I, but I do want to address it, is maybe you are, maybe it's the leads, all right? So I, I can't not talk about the fact that it could be the leads themselves uh, because that can be a factor. Specifically though, uh, if you are paying too much for a lead, you know, if you're, if you're paying $30 for a lead that's worth $10, obviously that can affect your ROI and your return on investment. So to be fair, we do have to mention the fact of the actual leads that you're buying, the quality, specifically the price compared to the quality, those things are a factor. So I'm not going to just say that that doesn't matter. So I want to, I want to address that number one, right? Uh, now one, this is the thing that all agents lean on most, that it's the leads, the leads, the leads. And so I want to come back to that. But the fact is, if you are overpaying for the quality of the, of the type lead that you're working uh, and, and all that, then, then that can be a factor for, just a factor for your uh, not getting as good of an ROI as you would like. The second thing though, that I think is probably a larger factor is your specific skill level or just the fact that you're not very good yet. And I don't mean that in an in a, in a, in a offensive way, but the fact is when, when we first started this business, right, I did not have a skill level. I was not good yet. I didn't really understand what I was doing. So early on, my ROI was not near as good as it, as it is and as it was as I got better at the business. So what I wanna challenge you if you're watching this, from my experience, just working with agents and seeing agents that are successful. The most successful agents always lean on the second thing more than the first thing. You know, some of the, some of the best agents that, that, that we work with, even when they go through batches of, of leads that are not as good, which by the way, happens with every type of lead source that you work, right? It's never, it always works out over the long term, but there's always, there's always, you know, Good, better batches than others, but the good agents, when they're going through it, always lean on themselves. What are listening to their calls, thinking about what they could have done better in, in different situations, where agents that tend to fail out very quickly put all of the emphasis on the leads. Right, and I call it lead victimitis. They kind of become a victim to the leads. And you can do this, by the way, with any type of lead source that you're working, okay? Because no matter how great the lead source is or is at a certain period of time, there, there's no perfect lead, right? That's why we need to be professionals and we need to develop our skill level of how to help people understand what we're doing and solve problems. And, and so, you know, the skill level, your specific skill level, are you good yet? It is is a is is a bigger factor, right, than even the leads themselves. Now again, the leads, that is a factor, right? So I did mention that. So so the type of leads you're buying, uh, are are you overpaying for the quality of the lead, right? Uh, what is the quality of the lead? That that's a factor in your ROI. Your specific skill level is 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 very 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 important and a huge factor. The third reason, right? is, and this is, this happens a lot. Um, are you working those leads enough, right? Are you working them at all? Right? I mean, I, I have seen agents that are, that, who are, who are very skilled, very good. They, 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 they have, you know, they can work any lead and make sales, but they go through periods of time where they just don't work or they work such a small amount or they only dial, you know, only work a lead once, or they speak to someone and they only follow up once, right? So that that really falls into proper work ethic and proper properly working a lead. And if you're new, you may not understand what that looks like or how much you need to work a lead, but understand that can be a factor. If you got a bunch of leads and you contacted them one time, right? No matter how good you might be, no matter how good your skill level is, 
If you're not working a lead properly and working a lead enough, well, then you're not going to get the proper ROI. So it's very, very important, right? The leads you're working, your skill level, which will get better with time, hopefully, if you're being intentional, right? And then working the leads enough, just work ethic, showing up. And the last thing, and this is what a lot of agents will, will miss this piece, right? And this is very, very important when it comes to measuring your ROI, your return on investment, and it is time time. I can't emphasize it enough. Most independent life insurance agents who are purchasing their, their own leads, they measure their ROI on too short of a time. Okay. If we invest in a new, new lead campaign or marketing campaign this week, I, no matter what it is, I don't care if it's a large sale or, or even smaller, smaller sales, it doesn't matter. I, we are not going to, to, to measure our ROI on this week alone not even this month, right? Because it takes, you have to understand, and depending on the product, depends on the sales cycle, but then it takes time for, you know, not only for commissions to hit, but also for you to properly work that lead. Like we talked about the third thing, properly working leads. You got to understand a lot of agents will be like, well, I bought this many leads and I sold this many policies this week. Well, yeah, but what about all the policies you're going to sell in two weeks? or in three weeks, or maybe in a month from those leads. And that happens all the time if you are if you have a system and you're working this through. So most agents really, really, really fail in, in, in measuring their ROI in, in, by, by measuring it in too short of a time frame. If you really want to be uh, responsible in how you measure your ROI, at least give it 60 days, right? So learn to determine your ROI like in a rolling 60 day period. And when you do that, you'll you'll find that wow, my ROI is actually is actually not pretty good, right? This is one of I mean I've never seen something so predictable over a long enough period of time, right? Where you can really get a consistent ROI. Again, how big it is does depend on exactly what you're selling, your niche, and all those different things. But I just want to challenge you. These are just four reasons that you may not be getting the the ROI that you're looking for. Right, but but please be careful not to put all of your emphasis on the first one, which is the leads. The other tip I want to give you is, if you're working a lead source, you have to do it long enough. Right, you have to do it long enough. Goes into the to the fourth step. You have to work a, a lead consistently enough to truly measure it. Many many agents, because they're so stuck on the, that it's all about the lead, spend all of their time bouncing from one thing to the other and it, there's too many variables and they have no idea what their ROI is because they're changing all the time. The most successful agents that I know in this business work a lead and they're very consistent with working that lead. Doesn't mean they don't ever make changes, but it's very, very rarely because they find something that works and they duplicate it day in and day out and they do it for a long enough period of time that they can properly measure and understand that they're getting a really, really solid return on investment, which you can do in this business. I, I, there's almost never that we a time where we haven't gotten some type of return when we've invested uh, in, into lead campaigns, as long as you do those four things, right? As long as you pay attention to those four things to make sure that you're getting better, make sure that you're working them properly and that you're measuring over a long enough period of time. So, hey, I hope this helps. Uh, I am. My name is Rich with Summit Life Group. We help independent life insurance agents all over the country. Uh, and so if you are maybe considering getting into the life insurance space as an independent agent, making a career change, or you're looking for a new agency to partner with, feel free to fill out the link below to learn more about Summit Life Group and how we support uh, independent agents. We offer lots of different uh, programs, uh, whether it's to, if you want to purchase your own leads and measure your own ROI, like I just shared in this video, or even if you're looking for a free lead type of platform where you don't have to buy your own leads, we support all of that here at Summit Life Group. So fill out the link below, learn more about us, go make it a great day.